Griffin, the body of a boar and the tail of a lion being like 40 hounds. On your knees, knight. You are in the presence of Her Majesty, one of her, Queen of all England. Oh, really? How did... How did you, Your Majesty? Oh, we'll have to forego the bending. Beastly hinges need oiling. Do forgive? Oh, what? No. No, it isn't proper, but there you are. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, it stopped raining. <laughs> Who are you, my lord? Uh, name King Pelennor. May have heard of me. What, what, what? No? Oh, no matter. Uh, you say you haven't seen a beast with the head of a serpent, the body of Please, a Please, I beg you, don't mention it again. It sounds much too revolting. We have not seen it. Uh, it's called the questing beast. Curse of the Pelennors. Only a Pelennor can catch up. That is, or his next of kin. Yes, train all the Pelennors with that idea in mind. Limited education. <laughs> By the way, where am I now? Don't you know? Haven't the foggiest. <laughs> oh, very easy to laugh. Nothing jocular about it to yours, truly. Always mollicking after that beastly beast with this horrible dog. Oh, jeez. Horrid, stop that. Oh, yes. Rheumatism in the winter, sunstroke in the summer. And over never know where you are, nowhere to sleep. And all this horrid armor that takes hours to put on. And not to mention staying up all night polishing the beastly stuff. Oh, but I'm a paranoid, I'm tight. It's my fate. But sometimes I do wish I had a nice house of my own to live in. With real beds in it and pillows and sheets. Oh, come on, come on, be a man, be a man. What? What? Oh, you've got the dog shaking now. Stop that, horrid. Stop. Sometimes when he gets going, you just can stop. Oh. Hey, wait. Where did you say I was? I didn't, but I will. Please do. You're in Camelot. Thank you. Camelot. Horrid. Horrid, stop staring at the ladies. Look around. Look around. We've been through here before, haven't we? Wait, look around. Oh, you wouldn't know. All you can see is his hair. But I remember. Spent a lovely day. Hello, you've changed your frock. I'm here. Oh, there you are. Come along, Maury. Oh, oh, be with you. Oh, one moment. Okay, yes. Ah, uh, I remember I spent a lovely day here with a nice young chap who used to change himself into a bunny rabbit. Name of what? Ever meet him, a lady? Constantly. He's my husband, King Arthur of England. Oh, is he now? Oh, by Jove. Oh, that's my idea of getting on. All right, come on, come on. Wow, yes. I thought he was grand. He was simply grand. I liked him better when he was himself, though, than when he was the bunny rabbit. He was a nice, clean, domesticated bunny, but I had a feeling he was mixing with some very funny bunnies. <laughs> I do forgive. What? Oh, please do say hello to him for me, won't you? Oh, well, I have to mull come, ma'am. Won't waste any more of your time. Come on, horrid. Horrid. Horrid, did you hear the news? Remember that nice young chap, Ward, who used to change himself into a bunny rabbit? Yes, well, now he's changed himself into the King of England. I call that jolly clever. My lord, I'm sure the king would love to see you again. Wouldn't you care to spend the night? Spend the night? Out of the way, you vicious beast. Yes. In a house? In a bed. A bed? A feather bed. Oh, would it have pillows? Down pillows. Oh, by George, I'd love that. Yes, I would. Oh, and could he sleep somewhere else? Of course. Where would you like him to sleep? Oh, anywhere would do, really. The moat might be nice for him. <laughs> I don't like him very much, you know. No earthly use to me. He's a bit of piano. Too much left par. A little bit of vibrato on that end. <laughs> yes. You know, he's just a bit of company, that's all. Uh, you see, Mrs. Queen, when you get down to the brass tacks, he may look like an unmade bed. But really, he's a dog. <laughs> he's a pointer. The problem is, you never know which way he's pointed. Oh, there you go. I don't even know which end is pointing now. Horrid, what are you doing? Oh, he's... Well, I could easily do without him, ma'am. Then he shall sleep in the stable. Clarice, would you escort our guests to the castle? With pleasure, my lady. Oh, this is too nice for words, ma'am. Most grateful. Oh, what a glorious day. Oh, there's even a hint of summer in the air. Or is that you? Horrid. Horrid. Come, oh, come on, Horrid. Horrid, what are you doing? Could you help me? Oh. What, 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 what? What a delightful surprise, Arthur. <laughs> What's happened here? Jenny, I want you to meet the son oh, of... Forgive us, Arthur. We just now encountered an absolute cartoon of a man called King Pelinor. Oh, Pelinor? I remember him from my boyhood. Delicious fellow. I've invited him to stay the night. Oh, splendid. 
Uh, Jenny, this is Lancelot de Locke. My lord. Your majesty. This is the Lancelot Merlin spoke of. He's come all the way from France to become a knight of the round table. Welcome, my lord. I hope your journey was pleasant. I am honored to be among you, your majesty. Allow me to pledge to her majesty my eternal dedication to this inspired cause. Thank you, my lord. How charming of you to join us, Arthur, this afternoon. This splendid dream must be a universal reality. Oh, absolutely, it really must. Can you stay, Arthur? I have assured his majesty that he may call upon me at any time to perform any deed, no matter the risk. Thank you, my lord, that's most comforting. Can you stay, Arthur? I am always on duty. Yes, I can see that. Can you stay for lunch, Arthur?